Hey dudes, it's a glitch here again, and it's that day. It's water change day. Um, Psychedelic Babe had asked me to show how I'd set up my RODI unit in my house. So here it is. It's a four stager, and as you can see, the color changing resin is almost gone already. It's, um, the water around this area is absolutely terrible, so it, uh, eats through this stuff quite a lot but uh yeah so this is my bath so i've got the rodi unit there which is hooked up to the tap excuse all of my sister's cleaning products and um, usually what i do is i will run it with the valve open for a couple of minutes just to wash through and rinse through the um, media and then hook it back in and then that goes into my lovely bucket but as you'll probably be able to see without the pump on that's roughly how much water i'm getting coming out so basically the water pressure in this house is absolutely appalling i can't even run a tap outside um can't get a hose out in the garden or anything so, I picked this up on eBay. I will have a link to this in the description if anyone wants to pick one up. And it usually if I don't have this running, it would take my RODI unit possibly a day or more just to do 20 liters. But with the booster pump, it does it in about two hours. Um, yeah, so that's good. Anyway, enough of the uh, mucky bathroom. Yes, I do need to clean it because we took the dogs for a walk yesterday and gave them all baths. Anyway, let's have a look at the tank. And here we are, one fish tank. Da -da -da. Um, yeah, there's a lot of blues on the lights at the moment. I'm trying turning the whites down and the blues up a little bit, see how things go. Um, yeah, I have picked up two new corals. I have got my new little egg can there. It's uh, covered in sand because I've been blowing stuff around the tank. And also Ripley, my Radiant Rass, likes to bury things. And over here I have a little bit of Lepto. I think it's Lepto anyway. I have been see seeing... Um, I, I don't know whether they're feeder tentacles or what, but there's been tentacles coming out of it. So there might be a little bit of warfare going on there. And, uh, yeah, everything's apparently doing good, apart from the algae. The bubble algae is... The bubble algae is doing really well. Uh, despite taking this out, scrubbing it, and dunking it a few times, it's still growing back. And I appear to be getting the, the weird white algae. Don't know if you can see that. Try and get it to focus. Yeah. It's covered in tiny bits of, like, white strands, which... I have a feeling is algae but it's been like that for months so and you can see it's really getting aggressive on the zoas there but round here dun 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 algae and algae more algae so uh, yeah I'm not sure what's going on there it's been since I've changed over to uh, Fritz Salt that I've noticed it but you know see how I get on with another water change in a bit over in the back corner as you can see my Monty is capping finally and uh, yeah the um, I believe they 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 call them chocolate chip polyps but it's basically like um, green star polyps but with blue bits and brown bits but that's come from a tiny frag and it's grown all the way up the rock there and I'm starting to have to cut it away from the sides of the Monty which is, you know, it's pretty cool if I can get that to grow up and around that will look really pretty some of the zoas aren't doing so good on the rock of course my pest zoas are doing fantastic and uh, you can see the, the little tiny anemones just in there, which I'm going to start scraping off the rock soon because uh, they're hurting things. My main Monty 
has uh, fallen off the digitata. The little chili pepper one is starting to grow and I'm getting polyp extension. Oh, there's Stan. All right, mate. Grumpy face. And, uh, yeah, over here. Got some hot plating action going on. And the rusty pavona and two-tone are growing into each other, which I think looks really, really cool. So hopefully it's not going to do any damage to stuff over there. I'm just going to see if this does any good whatsoever. Ta-da! There we go. That's how things are looking. All nice and pretty. Anyway, going to love you and leave you. I will be doing a rerun of Glitch Goes at um, Arundel Aviaries and Aquatics over the next couple of days. I've got to get the camera down there and just show you what's going on down there really because there, there's been some big changes since I, I last did a, a video there. And um, hopefully sort myself out some volunteer work as well. So exciting times. Anyway, I've whiffled on enough. This is Glitch, out.